Hello, Libra. I am, and I go by the name of Michaela Andromeda. I'm an interpreter of energies, and if these messages resonate with you, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you need to book a reading, you can go to unicornfunland.com, book down at the bottom. Please follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop is my handle. You can come, to come join the Totally Humble Initiate Saints. Also, if you need a prayer request, highpriestessmichaela at gmail.com. I'm here, I'm listening, and I do pray for you. Also, I stream live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. for free Rapid Fire One card readings. Come on through. It's a great time. It's a great time to get to see my my um, my gifts in action, and it's a great time to be able to connect with like minds. We've got a really awesome group of people here, and we're always interested in meeting new people, learning about who you are, and connecting. But I think we're going to go ahead and just get into it for Libra. Libra for March 2019. Spirit, what will you have the Libras now? Okay. I'm going to pull. end up pulling 12 cards plus some angel cards, some angel or angel oracle cards. Okay. So we've got the three of swords here, the three of clouds and traditional decks. Okay. They're already starting to come on out. Okay. Six. Okay. Right? So isolation. This isn't going to be a time to isolate yourself. Please don't isolate yourself. There's somebody. There's somebody. There's somebody. Oh, my goodness. There's somebody coming. There's somebody coming. And it's not it's not going to happen. It's feeling like it's going to happen in the third week. I promise you, I have not looked at any of these cards. This is the only card I've looked at. But it's feeling like this love is going to come in the third week. So whatever, whatever grief and sorrow you're dealing with. Let's suck it up. It's time to stop it. It's time to it's time to go forward. Move forward. All the pain is over. All the worry and the wondering is over. Okay. Don't isolate yourself. Don't isolate yourself from the world. Don't isolate yourself from yourself. Please, no running away from yourself. Okay. If you feel like you do need to take time, I'm feeling some upside down energy for some of you. So if you feel like you do need to take a little bit of time for yourself, go ahead. But don't dwell in it. Spirit's saying three days in in depression is too much. Three days being sad is too much. There's no time for this. There's no time for things to be the same. Because if you're if you're wanting, my goodness, okay. If you're wanting this new love to come into your life, you're going to have to look at things different. Staying the same in love is not the answer, okay? So whatever, whatever you're going through, whatever darkness you're going through, don't compare it to. Don't compare it to what's been in the past. There, there, I'm seeing like a lot of breakups. And I, I try not to focus these readings on love, but this is coming in very strongly for you guys. I, I'm seeing a lot of breakups, a lot of people who just ended something. I'm seeing some divorces. I'm seeing divorces happening because you have fallen in love with somebody else. I'm seeing divorces happening because you've had an affair and, and separations happening because you found somebody else. You actually found your soulmate. Some of you don't know how to tell your husband or wife. Okay. Don't compare. First and foremost, don't compare this love now to anything that's ever been. Don't compare this situation right now to anything that's ever been. And also, don't hinder your freedom. Don't hinder your freedom by staying the same. Don't hinder your freedom by trying to stick to your morals. 
morals can change and this world is changing. There are different kinds of loves coming in nowadays. I mean, if you just look at the world and see how people are loving, see how see see the different spectrum of love. There are so many different ways. It's not just husband and wife anymore. No, love is so different. And I'm feeling like a lot of you are experiencing this different kind of love, like somebody <laughs> somebody who's been straight their whole life. Somebody who who has been a self-defined straight person and maybe proud of it, falling in love with someone of the same sex and not understanding it and feeling grief and sorrow over it. It's time, it's time to change. It's time to follow your heart. Ah! <laughs> Do not ignore this call. This is the call to purpose and the call to action. This is judgment. You're at risk of ignoring this call in the first week of the month. There is a possibility that you'll find yourself ignoring it. Just like, oh, no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not straight. Why am I looking at her ass? <laughs> like, why am I wanting to go and hold her? Like, I'm a woman and I like men. Um, why? Because that's probably what you're needing to go towards. That's probably what you're needing to do. That's probably what you're being called to. A new experience. Gosh. Release the stress about it. Okay. For some of you, don't do too much thinking. Don't do too much fighting, fighting your passion. Don't fight your passion, you guys. There's something special happening here, and this will need to be released in order for it to come to fruition. Whatever it is that you're manifesting about, whatever love situation you're manifesting about, release, release it. Release it. And we're, the, the full moon energy is coming to a close I think we're pretty much out of that realm right now. But if you need to start with the new moon, start manifesting exactly what you want. OK. And you might want to work with um, crescent moon magic and also quarter moon magic. There's a lot of upside down energy here for you guys, for for some of you. Some of you have have it right side up, but. Now it's time to let the emotions out. You've you've stabilized your emotions. OK, and this is the second week of the month. You've stabilized your emotions, some of you. And now it's time to let that stability out. Now it's time to get back out there. Some of you have stressed. I keep I keep seeing the same signal, the same the same symbol about somebody straight going homosexual. And for some of you, somebody who's been homosexual their whole life or that's that's how you were defined, falling in love with the opposite sex. It happens either way. It happens. OK, so whatever whatever stress that you've been holding on to. Allow it to let go, allow it to dissipate, allow yourself to stabilize and then let those emotions go. Let those emotions be stable and don't listen to the outside noise. Oh, but what about Susan? Susan and Diane were so good together. What happened to Diane, Susan? Who, who the hell is Bob? You, you're in love with Bob now? Okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, and I keep thinking of this, the show, The Bisexual. Okay. Don't hold yourself back from new love experiences. This is the major message that I'm getting from this because I know it's not it's not everybody who is going from being straight to being gay or being gay to being straight. Some of you are going from I only like younger men to oh my gosh, who is this older man? I can't stand men my age. Or something like that. There's a big shift in your love perspective happening in March Libra. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't even look at this. 
there's a big shift in your perspective happening in love this month there's a rebirth of your mind your lover that the one that's coming towards you the one that is just so like tantalizing and like just so yummy and that you just don't understand why you want them so much they want to know you and they want to know the new you they want to know the the reborn you they want to have a conversation with you they want to pick your brain so now it's time for your thought process to completely change and somebody, no, you're not at risk of losing them if you don't change your thought process. I'm thinking of this episode <laughs> of The Flash. Spoiler alert if you watch The Flash and you haven't um, watched the most recent episodes. Um, but uh, Cisco, he, you know, they, they kept going back in time. And so Cisco was going on this date with this girl and um, he kept going back and trying it different ways and trying it again and it's like most of the times that he tried it she was like turned off okay so learn from that learn from that learn from it um be yourself because he eventually got in her good graces when he was finally being himself be yourself even if yourself is hi um cindy i'm susan I'm here at this gay bar and I don't know what's going on. I've been straight my whole life. It, like, you know, they want to know you. They want to know the true you and they want to know the reborn you. And the reborn you is the true you. Okay. And again, this is a general reading and I'm using this analogy because it's what spirit is telling me. It's the big analogy that's coming up. But take it, take it however, however you mean it. Or I've never been with a younger guy before. So, you know, I'm I'm 53 years old and I don't know why younger guys are just looking so yummy to me. <laughs> okay, whatever whatever it is, whatever thought process needs to change, express that to somebody. You have everything that you need in order to express this. In order to express your true love, in order to express your true feelings and your, your, your true thought patterns, your reborn thought patterns. You have everything you need, some of you. Some of you don't miss out on this opportunity to love, on this opportunity to start something new. This is the magician. He's pretty much at the beginning, you know, right after the fool, right after you take that leap of faith. Some of you are gonna need to take the leap of faith in the arms of, <laughs> of somebody else. You're gonna have to like just jump into the arms of somebody else and see where you land. For, for a lot of you, more than likely, you're gonna land in a really good place, okay? But don't take it for granted. Don't take all this love and these resources for granted. Don't take these new thought patterns for granted because they're there to show you something. They're there to teach you something. Some of you, take your time. Some of you, for others of you, and for the vast majority of you, it's time to get a move on. It's time to ask the question, will you marry me? I'm saying, I don't know why I just saw it so awkward. Like, will you marry me? Like, here's a, here's a will you marry me? To somebody that you know, to somebody that you've maybe been dating. And for some of you, that's the new perspective. That's the new perspective in love. I'm fine. You know what? I'm going to ask this dude to marry me. Or you know what? I'm going to just ask her to marry me. We've been we've been going out for 3 months. We've had so much good time, so many good times together. And you know, yeah, well mom and dad told me that I should date a person for 5 years. It's not about what mom and dad said. There's a rebirth of your thought patterns surrounding love happening. It doesn't what it doesn't matter what mom and dad said. If you've been dating for three months and every time you see him or her, your your face lights up and their face lights up just the same. Why? Why hesitate? Why hesitate asking them? Why why hesitate asking them out on a date if you feel it? Okay. 
So for those of you who this resonates with, get a move on. You've you've done you've thought about it enough. A new vision. And this isn't this. There are very, very few. of There's like a handful of you who are going to need to take pause. But this came in upside down. OK, now it's time to go. OK, and here, let me show you how it looks on my table. OK. This he's pointing to this. It's time to cut yourself down. It's time to press play. <laughs> okay, it's time to press play on love and take take the step, move on, move forward, move a little faster, okay? Because th this new vision is coming to fruition. This new way to love is coming to fruition no matter how uncomfortable it may be or seem. Try something new. Try a new way to approach this person. Because it's going to be work. And you might have to try a few different things. Again, a lot of you, it's not feeling like you're at risk of somebody just dropping you like, all right, well, you said one word in the dictionary that I don't like, so I'm never going to talk to you again. It's not like that. You might say that one wrong word and they'll be like, okay. But then you'll be able to call them later, apologize, or ask them out later, or send a text message, or try something new again. And this is encouraged at the end of the month, the last week of the month, okay? That's gonna empower you. Keep, keep on working, keep on working at it, keep on working at gaining this person's good graces, gaining their attention, keep working at it. And you'll know if they are just completely like, because their energy will say it, especially if you aren't getting in tune with their energy. It's easy. You know how you get in tune with somebody's energy? You think about them. Practice it. <laughs> Practice it. We all have that gift. It's all in our DNA. Okay. There is a breakthrough that is coming. If this came in upside down, please don't miss out on this chance. The spark that happens at the end of this month, the spark that happens between you and this other person, it might be a little bit scary. It might be like, how can I fall in love? How is it possible for me to fall in love? How is it possible for me to be so in love with this person that I've only known for a week? You know how it's possible? Because there's a shift happening in your mind. Okay? So let go of the past. This is such a beautiful synchronicity. I'm going to show you how it looks on my table. Okay? 10, rebirth of your thoughts. 5, letting go of your emotional past. 10, divided by... Two, <laughs> 10 divided by two cards equals five. Rebirth divided equals letting go of the past. Let that marinate for a moment. Here's your advice for this month. Although it might be a rough road, although the waters might be choppy, although the, the mountain might be rocky, keep moving forward. Keep learning as much as you can. Keep achieving in love. Because there's some there's there's a new kind of person who is really, really, really into you. And you don't want to miss out on this chance. There, there's some kind of energetic shift happening. Go and check all your astrology stuff. I'm not into astrology, but um, there's there's an energetic shift happening in the sign of Libra as far as love. And you guys are learning how to love in a different way. That's like the whole point of this reading. OK. Aries got this card as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even do your first card. 
<laughs> Gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon, be very gentle with yourself at this time with these new shifts. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments, okay? So again, well, you were never, <laughs> you were never into that kind of guy, all these people, all these people. Can't you see them like talking like, girl, you was never into that kind of person. What you think you're doing? You think you you think you know what, what you want? You don't know what you want, girl. We've been best friends for like 10 years and you ain't never went for you. you you're, you're black and you never dated a white guy. You're white and you never dated a black guy. Okay, so girl, you are not supposed to be like, like just. <laughs> so surround yourself with gentle people. Situations and environments. Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. Please call on these angels if you need to. And Gabriel like really wants your attention. Uh, Sandalphon is very, very gentle. Very gentle. And he's, he's there in case this happens. So concentrate on um, Archangel Sandalphon if you start hearing all of that egoic stuff outside of you. Archangel Gabriel, nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Okay, so so nurture your inner child by being okay with trying something new in love. <laughs> you have to get in touch with your inner child in order in order for you to be okay with all of these changes and all these changes that are occurring in your heart in order to be okay with them. You got to get in touch with your inner child. That's another children card that you guys got. Indigo and Crystal Children. Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children in particular, and you can help children who are sensitive. Okay? So if you need to spend some time around children, around your nieces and nephews, for somebody in particular, spend some time around your nieces and nephews. Play. Finger paint with them. <laughs> you know, watch, watch the silly children shows with them. Okay? And that's going to that's going to help you. That's going to help you to get in deeper in touch with your inner child and be OK with all of these these strange changes that are happening in your life pertaining to love. OK, Libra, that's what I have for you. This was a really interesting reading. And it's like. Again, I really try not to focus if you've been following me, I really try not to focus on love, but spirits like, please tell the people this is what they need. This is what they need to hear. This is what they need to hear. There are some signs who are, it's just like, nope. <laughs> like, I'm like, well, I know people want to know about love and spirits like, they don't need to know about love right now. They need to be focusing on something else. But this, this is what you need to be focusing on. Okay. Um, That's all I have for you. Okay. So if you want to book, book your personal reading and go deeper into your own energy, you can go to unicornfunland.com, book down at the bottom, follow me on Instagram. All this information is right down below in the description. Come to free rapid fire one card readings a Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Central time in the U.S. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, and if you're new here, if you're new, a new subscriber or even if you're not a new subscriber, um, go to the community tab and check in on that poll, the most recent poll that I posted and have your voice be heard about what kind of reading you want me to do for a viewer's choice in March. That's going to be up for a week. So check it out at your own discretion. Other than that, all love and praise to the universe within me and without me spirit, please help Libra to gain new perspective and to nurture their new perspective in love in March. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Uh, that Libra video last month, you guys liked it and I appreciate that. And I, I love being here with you and i love being able to do this with you i love being able to help okay so other than that have a beautiful month have a beautiful moment and i will see you around bye